Now we look at the roundwise rules for Kerala UG Medical Counseling. So in Kerala UG Medical Counseling, there are four rounds. Round 1, Round 2, Round 3 followed by the stray round. Okay. So a lot of candidates have queries regarding this. Whether they have to register for all the rounds, whether they register for one round and pay the registration fee, will that amount be refunded if seat is not allotted or if the, they don't join the allotted seat, what will happen to the registration fee and if there are fresh registration for all the rounds. A lot of queries come up regarding the roundwise rules. So before that, I'll just tell you that uh, the how the round happens. So in uh, Kerala UG Medical, there is round one, uh, then where, where there is a registration process and then round two and round three, there is no fresh registration process. There is only uh, option of uh, choice, uh, uh, choice rearrangement and followed by the stray round where stray round there will be a fresh registration. Okay. So we'll uh, start with round one and we'll go uh, through the rounds uh, to give you a better idea. So first we'll start with round one and uh, in Kerala all the rounds uh, are conducted online. Uh, so round one is online and uh, in round one a fresh application can be filled. Uh, so uh, after the fresh application uh, process uh, the round one choice filling happens. Okay. So before the round one choice filling you will have to pay a registration fee of rupees 5000 so after paying the registration fee you will be able to fill out the choices and in round one there is fresh choice filling meaning you will be able to fill in the preference order of the colleges that you are interested in so if you are interested in uh, like uh, let's say a particular college you can put it at the top and you can rearrange the order of the colleges so let's say uh, you fill the choices and now the results uh, results come out, uh, the allotment is published and what happens if you don't join the allotted seat? That's what we're going to look at. Uh, so here you can see that uh, the registration will be, uh, registration fee will be forfeited. So uh, before you uh, start the round one, you would have paid a registration fee of 5000. That registration fee will be forfeited if you don't join the allotted seat. And if you do not join the allotted seat, you will also not be eligible for the further rounds. Meaning round 2 and round 3, you will not be eligible. But you, there is an option to do a fresh application in the stray round. And in round 1, so after you are allotted a seat, let's say you join the seat. After you join the seat, there is an option to upgrade from round 1 to round 2. Okay, So this is an possibility. After joining in this round, is the resignation possible? So let's say you get an allotment, you join the seat. After the after joining the seat, and let's say you get a better seat in All India uh, round uh, two. Okay. So what happens? You will be able to resign the seat. No issues. You will be able to resign the seat, but a time will be given for this. Uh, and please uh, resign the seat within that time. And if you resign the seat, what happens? After resigning the seat, you will not be eligible for round 2 or round 3. But you can apply for the stray round. Now we will go to the round 2. So round 1 is completed. After that, after uh, round 1 of Kerala, round uh, 2 of All India will happen. Uh, which is conducted by MCC. And after that, round 2 of Kerala will happen. So round 2 of Kerala is also conducted online. And in uh, round 2 of Kerala, there is no fresh application. So if you don't apply in round 1, you will not be able to apply for round 2 or round 3. That is not possible. So uh, don't miss out when uh, the round 1 uh, choice filling or registration happens. Don't miss it out and uh, please do the registration. And in round 2, there is no fresh choice filling. You uh, like All India. Uh, there is no option to fill out fresh choices in round 2 but whatever choices you have already filled out will be visible on the portal so you have to log into the portal and option confirmation has to be done so in round 2 option confirmation is mandatory if you don't fill out if you don't do the option uh, confirmation in round 2 whatever seat was allotted in round 1 that is what will be retained okay so if you want 
to get better uh, better options in round two then you have to do the option confirmation and you can rearrange the option so let's say in round one you give a particular uh, preference order you will be able to rearrange the preference order or delete few preference order depending on your uh, requirement okay and let's say after uh, uh, round two uh, choices uh, confirmation is done allotment will be published okay after the allotment is published if you don't join the uh, seat what will happen so again just like round one registration uh, fee will be forfeited in round two and you will not be able for, uh, to uh, apply for round three so round three you will not be able to uh, go to round three but you will have an option to uh, apply for stay around as a fresh registration and upgradation is possible from round two to round three so upgradation is nothing but you are holding on to your round two seat and you're opting for upgradation to round three for a better seat after joining the round two seat there is the option to resign the seat then again it has to be done within the time period that is given by uh, CEE and if you resign the seat in round two you will not be eligible for round three just like uh, round one and uh, after resigning the seat you will not be eligible for round three but there is an option to apply uh, uh, as a fresh registration in the stray round now we'll go to round three okay so one one thing that i've uh, missed out on mentioning is during the option confirmation okay so in round two and round three there is option confirmation it is mandatory if you don't do the on, uh, option confirmation you will not be considered for that round okay and if uh, uh, let's say a candidate uh, gets a seat in round one okay and uh, if uh, and in round two if the candidates uh, and in uh, if the candidate doesn't want uh, uh, let's say a particular uh, uh, they, they have filled out the choices and if they don't want any other uh, uh, remaining options then they they will have an option to remove those options from during the option confirmation that is what uh, we have given at the bottom if a candidate is satisfied with the allotment received through round one or round two and doesn't want to be considered against the remaining option then the candidate has to cancel all the remaining option followed by option confirmation uh, now let's look at round three round three is conducted online and in round three fresh application is not possible but in round three there is a token fee that needs to be paid okay so there is a uh, token fee for uh, private uh, mbbs or bds seats and also for nri bds which is one lakh so token fee of one lakh has to be paid after the allotment is done similarly for uh, nri mbbs seats a token fee of 5 lakh is to be paid so this token fee is supposed to be paid to CEE after the allotment process is done uh, and uh, next uh, is the choice filling so in round 3 uh, again just like round 2 uh, option confirmation is mandatory uh, you, you will be able to rearrange the options but you will not be able to add fresh options so whatever option that is needed for you throughout uh, round one round two round three you will have to fill out fill it out in round one itself so rearrangement of options and deletion of unwanted options is possible in round two again if you uh, if you are satisfied with the seat in round two and you don't want the other options to be considered then you can rem uh, remove those remaining options so let's say you have uh, completed the option uh, confirmation stage and now a seat will be allotted for you what happens if you don't allow, if you don't join the seat so one thing is the registration fee will be forfeited that is one thing that happens and if you don't join the seat you will not be eligible for the stay round so in round three it is not like round one and round two if you don't join the seat allotted seat in round three you will not be eligible for the stay round and upgradation is not possible in round three so the upgradation stage ends at round three from round three to uh, to stay around 
upgradation is not possible and finally a candidate let's say a candidate joins the seat after joining the seat the candidate will be able to resign the seat okay but the candidate will not be eligible for stay round so uh, in round 3 whether you don't join the seat or you join and resign the seat you become ineligible for stay round which is very important please make a note of it and finally we come to stay round stay round is also conducted online but in stay round to register for it the registration fee is different so in stay round if you want to uh, take only government seats then the registration fee is uh, 10,000 rupees and for private seats the registration fee is 1 lakh and choice filling for uh, stay round it is fresh option filling so whatever you have uh, filled in round 1 and arranged in round 2 or uh, uh, made changes in round 3 will not be considered you have to fill out fresh choices in the stay round and you are allot let's say you are allotted a seat in the stay round and you don't join the seat then the registration fee will be forfeited upgradation from stray round to further stray round is not possible and let's say you join a seat in stray round you will be able to resign the seat uh, and uh, but you will become ineligible for further stray rounds or the next rounds you will not be eligible for okay so uh, i have said all these uh, rules here okay but the rules what i have said is based on 2023 and uh, this rules are subject to change. So based on this year's notification and the prospectus, the rules can vary and it can change. Okay. So uh, please follow our, uh, uh, if there are rules that are changing, then we will update you uh, on as videos or as posts. So please stay tuned for those. Hope you enjoyed this short video. To watch the full video on our website, the link is in the description.